Most places want to attract certain communities, and I think we do too, but a secondary practice and the deep bet of these networks or think tanks is that we can make a community and we can activate that community with the express intent to forge a creative ecosystem inclined towards impact. So if we do this right, we'll do more than evolve the dynamic between our publics and our building. We'll also change somewhat ourselves by inviting in some of our favorite people in a strategic way. One of the great learnings that's immediately emerged from this work is that while we sought to build a community through curatorial process, we were simultaneously mapping the regional creative enterprise as well as its artistic cross-sectionality. As it turns out, YBCA's creative ecosystem, our network of networks, come from all five major counties in the Bay Area. They range in age um, from folks in their teens to folks in their 70s. It's beautifully diverse with regards to both cultural and vocational demographics. Uh, my first month on the gig, I saw Young Jean Lee's Untitled Feminist Show at the Baryshnikov Arts Center in New York. Um, Young Jean Lee went to Berkeley. She's an incredible theater maker. She just made a play without words with the word feminist in the title featuring six female coded bodies on stage, all of whom were completely naked. So demographically speaking, in San Francisco, this was a curatorial layup. Uh, San Francisco queer, gender complex, outspoken, sex positive. But that's kind of how our field in general relates to the public. For Untitled Feminist Show, Young Jean Lee told us that she was asking, what's on the other side of my body's shame? Also, what is on the other side of my body's joy? So emboldened by an artist and a provocation, we invited 30 people to spend a year with us in a facilitated process. They came from Stanford, Harvard, Berkeley. They were teen runaways and preachers, doulas, software developers, civil rights lawyers. We give these folks memberships to our institution. We gave them free tickets to certain events, quarterly academic meetings, but most importantly, we gave these folks our building. We ask them to generate reflections on a big idea in our institutional space. So the group had a social and productive import. We weren't just developing an audience, we were cultivating a future. And we were selecting a key group to make it with us. We project that the way to develop an audience is to seed it with offstage thinkers who will pull in their constituencies to our institution around big questions, not just beautiful content. So after about 10 months together, the body politics think Tank staged a field of inquiry outside of Young Jean Lee's piece. Um, this is Candace Wicks and Tommy Solati Shepard, folks that I love. In response to the question of what's on the other side of my body shame, they created a song cycle um, chronicling a history of black shame. Um, the woman that you see here, this is Dania Cabello, um, a futbolista, um, in response to the question of what's on the other side of my body's joy, she conducted soccer clinics outside of our theater. This is Amara Tabor Smith, um, one of my collaborators, um, an artistic director, an associate artistic director at Urban Bush Women, um, just one of my favorite humans. She uh, created a uh, a moving piece, both emotionally and physically, um, a kind of moving installation that examined um, menopause and um, the shame around aging, particularly in a female coded body. And the way I think about it is if we have enough of these coexisting groups, and again, this is my work with Julie Potter, right? Um, if we have enough of these coexisting groups and each of these groups, you know, let's say we start with 50 people at the first meeting and we grow to 75 to 100 people at the second meeting and let's say we go from 100 to 150 people by the third meeting and we have five of these groups, we have six, 700, 800 people just kind of in our orbit that are actively asking of themselves um, and of each other over time. So we've built not members, let's say, that are engaged in the institution through kind of a culture of witness, but activists who are engaged with one another through um, a culture both of witness and of asking. <laughs>